I thought somebody was walking up to my car. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. Today is Monday. Back to work for everybody. Traffic is all over the place. And I am sitting in front of my mechanics uh, shop. I did manage to dry my clothes and then... um. Because I, really, I didn't want them to sit in that basket and get wet and sour. So I did manage to get them dry. <clears throat> and then I did manage to get my car up here to the shop. Um, I was going to leave it and then catch a transit to work. But I'm going to just wait to see what he has to say. So I'm sitting here waiting. He opens at, I think, <coughs> 8830. And right now, um, he opens either at 8 or 8.30, but he normally comes in at about, it's 6.55, so he normally gets in at about, I think, like 7, 7.30. So hopefully it's 7, so I can tell him my issue, and then um, either he can look at it right quick and tell me what it is, or he can say it's going to be a while, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to transit, catch the bus to work, and then wait for the call. I'm so glad that I did go to the laundromat because now I have quarters so I can catch the transit. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I got enough to get back home. But if not, it's not that cold outside, so I can walk. Um, it's not a short walk, but I'm willing to do it. I haven't walked in a minute anyway, so I got my backpack with my stuff in it, my lunch and stuff. Everything I need that is very important. I got me some comfortable boots on, some tights, and a big sweater, so, in my coat. So, I'm set for today. I'm just waiting for him to pull up. I'm hoping, I pray, I pray that it's, it's not, nothing major. Um, I pray it's something so simple and so inexpensive. So, we shall see. Because as soon as that, the, the little thing that goes up and down to, to let you know if your car's running hot, that dropped and that check engine light came on and I was like, oh. And the antifreeze poured out. Once I put it in, I it cool. So, I don't know. I text my boss. He's a tight person. He does little stupid stuff and I have to respond in a way where he understands to chill out so I don't respond at all. I told him. I have an emergency. I will be in later. I will get the work done. This was more important, and I'll update him. So he'll know the update when he sees me walk in the office. <laughs> Hopefully he gets here at least by 730, because I don't have to walk far. Actually, the transit, one of the stops across the street, because the one I need is not that one. It's another one that I need. And it's further down the road, so we'll sit here and wait, and I'll update you guys on what is said. I have to do this because this is my outlet to keep me from tripping. Because <laughs> if I, I just I pray it's not what I'm, what you know, but anyway. So, okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, update you later, and I'm about to get on the phone and just give me something to do. Oh my gosh, I left my, my buds at the house. I tried to make sure I packed everything. I need my buds because I don't want to talk to nobody. But I got some little plugins. I don't know how well that's going to do. But dang it. I hate that. And I don't want to go run and get it because I don't need to have this car up and down the road. So I'll be back. So I'm at work right now in the conference room. And um, it is the water pump. So I had it riding around in the car with the antifreeze. You know, I put the antifreeze in and all of it came back out. So it was, he was like, it was 380 something. So hopefully when I get back to him, it's cheaper. So yeah, uh, he said he may have it done later today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So what I'll do is tomorrow, if I don't have for him today, I already know. So tomorrow I'll just leave work and go sit there until it's done. So that's that I'm at work and give me some work done. 
and just try to push throughout the day. I am so sleepy and tired. My sleep is off. Like I go to bed at about 10, a little after 10, and at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. And then I go to the bathroom. Sometime, for the most part, I generally don't go to the bathroom. But for the past couple of months, I've been jumping up and then not being able to go back to sleep. I'm tired and my neck hurt. I know my body's tired, so I'm going to take me a sleep aid tonight. But I'm not going to bed early. I'm going to go to bed at 10 o'clock, but I'm going to do what I got to do before that time. So this is the start of my new year and day, but I'm not going to let this deter me and I'm going to remain focused on what I have to do. And I need to start kind of searching for a part-time job. Um, so, yeah. So the um, mechanic called me and he said, um, you want to change this belt and this thermostat? Because he thought he changed the thermostat with the radiator, but he didn't. So now I'm at like four or something. I went ahead and let him do it. So I can get out of the way. So I should have my car tonight, hopefully, prayerfully. And not tomorrow, but I'll update you guys. I'm about to go get some ice cream. So I, not too long, got off of the bus. And I'm heading now to pick up my vehicle. Stop by the grocery store and get some water. And then I'm coming home and I'm going to get in the bed and go to sleep because I'm sleeping. I have been sleeping all freaking day. Enough is enough. Um, it's not cold where I'm at, but my job got that freaking heater on. It's been on all day and I've been sneezing. And I do not want to be sick at all. Whew. So, oh, no wonder my t shirt is up here somewhere. All right, guys, I'll come back on and tell you all the deal with the car in just a few. $178 later, I'm home. And then one of my cards only authorized some of it, it didn't authorize the whole thing. That pissed me off. So now when I called the bank, it was a long hold. And then when I tried to call back again, it was, um, they were going for the evening. So I have to log in and see what happened with that. Went and got my water. Um, coconut water in the case of my little blue water. And stopped and got me some fried tofu with the sauce. I think this is yum yum. I'm not sure. And I got me some bang bang shrimp tacos. And that's about it. I did cut my hair. I didn't want it blunt like this, but I know if I put on it, it's going to do whatever. It's fine. This hair, no wonder it was so cheap. It's frizzing and looking a mess, so I'm going to mousse it and um, see if it does any better. But my goal is 30 days. After that, I'll probably think of something else. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so sleepy. My long clock went off at, no, my long clock did not go off. My bladder went off at 3 o'clock. Got up and could not go back to sleep. So I lay there and the long clock went off again? Yes. It went off at five. No, it went off. It didn't go off again. It went off at five. So to wind this down. Supposed to be different. Um, I, um, the long part went out, so I went ahead and took it close to the dryer. Let me tell you something. I probably put in 50 cents too much, or maybe a dollar too much in them dryers, because I was the only person there. Them clothes dried really good, I guess, because all the dryers wasn't running. I was dry. I was done drying like thirty minutes. So happy, just me out there. Nobody else came at home. Get the car rest while I get ready, and took it to the shop. It was the water pump, which I knew about. But when I was there, the other guy told me. He said, "You want to get your water pump looked at?" He said, "You need to get done as soon as possible." Well, that was in July. With Daddy New Year's Eve. 
uh, um, an own call back. The owner called back and said, since we're not here, we can go ahead and do the belt and the gasket. So, I'm going to get something to drink, and I'm going, and I'll talk with you guys another time. Right now, my energy level is really low, and I'm tired. And it is... Hold on, let me tell you. Six forty-four. I got a long way before two o'clock. That's when I'm hitting the bed. I'm gonna drive by. Ooh. Mm -mm. Hello, beautiful people. Today is Thursday, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I um decided to get on right quick just to chit chat. This hair is gonna come out in thirty days because this frizz is just un unbelievable. And of course, I decided to the water just as I sat down to talk with you guys. Give me just a minute. So, if you haven't heard, the Mega Million right now is at nine or seven? 980, something like that. I think the cash payout is like 54. 554 million. Let me tell you something. I don't want all of it. I just want enough to give to some people, help them out. Me totally retired and start a business so I can remain a multi-millionaire. So I did go and buy me a ticket. Matter of fact, that's what I tried to get on my nerves. I guess something dropped at the bottom of the oven where the foil is and it's burning. I opened up the, um, the oven door and my smoke detector went off. Somebody can burp and it goes off. It's sensitive, but I'm not mad at it, but sometimes it gets on my nerve. Um, mm, this is good. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm going to spell it. Y-A-S-S-O. Greek yogurt bar. Tuck it to cookie dough. This is really good. So, I am, oh. So, my first brand new 2023 paycheck is down to the 15th. So, I made some trackers today. Well, if you can see them a lot. To track my, um, my spending and I really don't want to spend no money I really want to save because I want to see me do it and I'm tired of being in debt this right here is for every hundred so for every hundred I'll knock out a lemon and this is what I'm saving money for so the first one is for the homeless so if I ever have money in hand I can give it to them the second one is the house. Anything I might need for the house, I most likely probably put aside ten dollars, maybe twenty. But I have everything. The only thing I might start needing is toilet tissue. But that's nothing. Gas in my car. Drying when I have to dry my clothes and food. So that's for that. But I'm gonna still have a savings going. And like I said, because my raise, I see my raise. On this check, the dollar amount of that raise would be going into something. I don't think I'm going to track it. I, every time I get paid, I'm going to just pull it out and set it aside. I actually have – hold on for me. I just realized that I have some glass jar containers that I bought, but I don't know where I put them. Hold tight. They must be upstairs. I have two. One of them I have to take a razor blade and um, take off the Christmas words and put something on there. And then I have a tin container. And I'll probably just wrap a piece of paper around it to cover the Christmas. Before I go to bed and end this video. Oh, hey, hey, everybody. It's Friday evening. Hope you had a wonderful week. 
day. I'm at home. I'm about to go lay across my bed and try to get some sleep. I've been trying to get for the whole week. But I just want to get on here right quick and tell you about this soap. So I found this soap at my Walmart, and it's the Walmart that sells the groceries. It's not like the big one. It's like the market. So I spent like four and some change. So I spent like a dollar something per bar. Only comes in a four pack. Pros and cons. Will I invest? Yes, if I can find it cheaper. I'll, even if I can't find it cheaper, I'll probably get it. This soap, um, really, you will feel how moisturized and soft and just juicy your skin feel once you come out of your bath. Okay, um... I was looking at some YouTube videos and all of my old, and one guy was saying that it doesn't make him feel as moisturized as Dove. I don't know. I'm not a Dove person. I have nothing against it. I just, I've just never reached for it. So the Gentle Castile Soap 100% Premium Coconut Oil. So some people wash their clothes with this. I wouldn't. I don't need that oil in my wash machine. I mean, I don't know. I did wash this shit with it. It was all right, but, you know, because I'm trying to find a natural, cheap way to do... Um, different things. So, yes. So, it is flat. It's not like real thick and really wide. It has like a just a gentle scent to it. It doesn't have a scent to it. Um, prosphate, sulfates, parabens, EDTA, gluten, colorants, like it's free of all that stuff. So, if you ever get a chance, it's Kirkland's 100% Premium Coconut Oil Gentle Castile Soap. Okay, so screenshot it, write it down, whatever you gotta do. So that's all the pros of it. Cons: it melts faster than a mug. It melts really, really fast. So my suggestion to you is, cause see, it, everyone's different. My suggestion to you is just be in your tub chilling, and when you're ready to use that soap, don't let it sit in the water too long. Because it's going like after like four or five washes. And it wasn't sitting in the, in the water just, you know, going away. I generally have my soap in the water regardless. But that's the fastest I've ever seen the soap kind of like just dissolve. Not dissolve, but like melt. So, yeah, it, it moves pretty quick. But it's really, really nice. Um, I have a cabinet because I had, I had it really bad. I have a cabinet full of soaps and... Um, body wash and I don't need to buy none for another I don't know how many years I to be honest with you I had enough soap not to have buy none for like 10 years and I buy soap just because I think it's cute or whatever not because I need it but I, that's that's the end of that but when I get done with all my soaps and body wash that'll be the soap that I would definitely buy a lot of um I like how it makes you feel that women you know well I can only speak for me it didn't burn and irritate my lady part. So it's a winner. I had to tell you that because I keep forgetting about it. So I'm, I remember this time. So get it, try it out. Um, it makes you feel like really soft and just, whew. But yeah, so I want to do that before I go into bed and chill. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be kind of all over the place. I didn't do it every day. Tomorrow, Saturday, so I have to do a washing video. And that's about it. I have to go look for a part-time job. It's time to get on the grind. I just um, added up or figured out the balances on all my little bills I have that I'm going to do a consolidation on. And I got that situated. I'm going to do the consolidation next week. Looking for these a job or ask, you know, about tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to get on the grind. Hopefully I can find something that works with my days and hours. I wouldn't mind a weekly paying job, but I'll suck it up if it's every two weeks. As long as it's not every two weeks doing my full-time job. It's like every week I'll get, get getting paid, so if they're opposite from each other, that'll work out. Um, and that money for my part-time job would be for the gas, the food, household things, um, homeless, and drying. I won't require much. Today is my last day eating meat, so I'm going back into the vegan phase. I'm going to ease into it. Um, well, I wouldn't say vegan phase because I'm going to have seafood or whatever, but eventually I'm going to go into a, a strong vegan phase. But, but um, I'll take you along on the journey. So today was the last day, and 
that's it. So it's my goal is no eating out. <clears throat> Choked up when I said that. <clears throat> no eating out. No processed food. Only water. Um, no fried food. <clears throat> no meats. Um, I'm going to buy more vegan stuff. Um, I guess that's called a pescatarian. I don't know. I'll get the seafood when I get it. I'm not pressed for it. But I'm going to do a lot of vegetables and stuff. <clears throat> I have some chickpeas soaking right now because I'm going to make me some... Um, I forgot what it is. Y'all will see it. And yeah, so... My goal is to try to do no spin unless I really need stuff for the house. Um, and I have some things that I bought from Dollar Tree that I no longer need. So if I need stuff for the house, which would probably be like toilet tissue, I can just exchange it. That'll be that. So, yeah, first paycheck with the new raise is coming up. So the goal is no spin, no buying out. We're going to see how this goes. This is our New Year's resolution, resolution but we're going to see how this works. And for the first... Um, 60 days I'm not going to work out and then I'm going to get into the workout phase once I see my body is doing what it needs to do because my body is back at it again with my chest hurting and all these different pains and stuff so yeah and I'm going to eat up all my vitamins because there's this lady who was just talking about different vitamins that she used and I wrote it down I'm going to research them and make a list it's going to be costly but it's okay but other than that, I'm going to go ahead and go. You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk with you guys in the morning when I'm washing clothes. I have a small load. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's all over the place. My video's all over the place. But I just want to get back on the table. That's so before I forget. And, yes, yeah, so good night, guys. Have a good one.